Welcome gamers and movie buffs. Today, we're diving into the world of the best movie tie-in games. Remember the days when almost every blockbuster film had their own video game adaptation? I admittedly was a major sucker for these tie-ins, even if the voice cast mailed in their performance. I'm looking at you, Daniel Craig. By the way, I didn't catch your James Bond. As you can see, not all movie tie-in games were created equal. Who can forget the infamous E.T. video game? But fear not, because amidst the sea of mediocrity, there were many shining gems that rose above the rest. In fact, some of these games were even better than the movies themselves. So sit back, relax, and join us as we delve into the world of the best movie tie-in games. No more stops between here and the end of the line. Ah, the nostalgic rush that Spider-Man 2 brings, swinging onto PlayStation 2, Xbox, and GameCube in 2004 alongside its cinematic counterpart, it stands as a relic of the golden era of licensed tie-in video games. Spider-Man 2 wasn't just another superhero game, it was a groundbreaking open-world adventure that truly put players in the spandex suit of the web-slinging hero. Even today, many hail Spider-Man 2 as one of the finest superhero games ever made, setting the stage for Insomniac's 2019 Marvel Spider-Man series. Spider-Man 2's combat, though a tad clunky, introduced dynamic combos and aerial maneuvers, stringing together punches, kicks, and web attacks in a ballet of action that were immensely satisfying. And let's not forget the rogues gallery of villains, Doc Ock, Rhino, Mysterio, and more. The sheer presence of these iconic foes added to the game's charm. Whether swinging through the concrete jungle or duking it out with villains, it fulfilled the promise of putting players in the shoes of their favorite superhero like never before. After all, there's still only one, Spider-Man. Get ready to Enter the Matrix. Yes, I know you didn't like the Matrix sequels, but Enter the Matrix achieved something truly remarkable by seamlessly weaving its narrative between the realms of film and gaming. And while the sequels may have divided fans, the allure of the Matrix universe remained strong. Developed by Shiny Entertainment, it wasn't just another tie-in, it was a collaboration of epic proportions. The Wachowskis, creators of The Matrix, were deeply involved, ensuring the game's narrative seamlessly meshed with the films. It wasn't content with the usual movie-to-game formula. Instead, it aimed to expand the story across multiple media forms. The game featured an hour of exclusive live-action footage, enhancing the cinematic experience and bridging the gap between Reloaded and Revolutions. Damn, not who I was hoping for. Enter the Matrix introduced elements that expanded the lore of the Matrix universe in unexpected ways. From battles against undead creatures to encounters with vampires, the game delved into corners of the universe that the films only hinted at. Enter the Matrix remains a memorable entry in the world of movie tie-in games. Its audacious vision and willingness to push boundaries set it apart from the crowd. And while it may not have achieved its full potential, it remains a testament to the possibilities of collaboration between filmmakers and game developers. In a sea of uninspired adaptations, it dared to be different, and for that, it deserves to be remembered. If you're enjoying this video and want to support the channel, hit the thanks button below. I'm the best there is at what I do. At least the people still living after I'm done doing it say that. Let's talk about a game that actually is better than the film it's based on. X-Men Origins. Wolverine. Uncaged Edition. The combat system, typical for hack and slash games of its time, became legendary for its brutal executions. Picture this, Wolverine diving claw first through enemies, shredding them into piles of meat. Despite its age, the game still holds up visually and stands as one of the last great movie tie-ins before the trend faded. <laughs> Critics may have been lukewarm at the time, but Wolverine exceeded expectations, particularly with Hugh Jackman's great voice over work. While the X-Men Origins movie left us scratching our heads, the game decided to give us a good scratching, and surprisingly, we loved every moment of it. Gundam! Up here! The wall must be defended! Ah! Hurry! 
More are coming. Let's dive into the realm of fantasy with The Lord of the Rings – Return of the King. It's a prime example of transforming the film's cinematic brilliance into an engaging, action-packed game that anyone can enjoy. Return of the King focuses on epic battles, and that's what makes it so thrilling. Jump into the shoes of Aragorn and start bashing orcs left and right. Even now, fans of the series continue to champion this game, eagerly calling for a remaster on modern consoles. Developed by EA Redwood Shores, the game allows you to control various characters across the epic story. It's refreshingly simple compared to today's gaming landscape. I have a token I was bidden to show thee. Frodo's mithril vest! Poor Hobbit must be dead! I shall give you a message for your master! Where other licensed games have failed, Return of the King offers depth and authenticity to the source material. While there may be other Middle-earth games, Return of the King proves that only one truly rules them all. In the realm of movie tie-in video games, one title reigns supreme, GoldenEye. Released two years after the film, it defied expectations in a market where tie-ins were often lackluster. Developed by Rare, the studio behind Donkey Kong Country and Killer Instinct, GoldenEye wasn't just another game, it was a revolution. With its innovative use of the analog stick for 3D movement, GoldenEye changed the way players interacted with shooters. But its real triumph was in multiplayer mode. Picture this, four players, one screen, iconic locations lifted straight from the movie, and a plethora of weapons at your disposal. Now, with re-releases on modern platforms, a new generation of players may struggle to grasp its significance. They may not realize how GoldenEye shaped the shooter genre, inspiring countless features we now take for granted. For me, it's more than just a game. It's a time machine. Its familiar sights and sounds transport me back to late nights with friends, chasing each other with Walther PPKs. What I miss most in the realm of movie video game tie-ins is the steady stream of Bond titles it used to offer. These days, there hasn't been an entry in this series since the days of PS3, but a new game is in the works from the creators of Hitman that promises James Bond will return. That concludes our list of classic movie video game tie-ins. Thanks for supporting the channel. Let us know what movie games were your personal favorites, and if there are any gems we overlooked. Share your thoughts with us in the comments below.